Have you, wa fight. Have you watched them this year? Yeah. Let's just take the last two games. Borussia Dortmund at home, they were terrible. Heidenheim at the weekend, they were okay for 45 minutes and then they crumbled. They made three subs at half time and they crumbled. I mean, it was absolutely dreadful the second half. Uh, and he played Kim in a Pomicano. And I was thinking, is he, is he, is he just giving De Ligt and Dyer a rest? Or is he giving these two a run out because they're going to play at Arsenal? Yeah. That's how bad it's been. Yeah. And whoever he's played, they've lost goals. But there's always been the possibility with the players they have that they were going to be able to raise their game from what they've, what they've shown. And they did that at the Emirates. As Jürgen said, it wasn't vintage Bayern Munich, but it was a damn sight better than what it's been. And on top of that, that's three games in a row where Arsenal have been substandard mm. in, in, in the Champions League. Yeah, both legs against Porto. Both legs against Porto. Uh, there's 90 minutes tonight. And <coughs> you just wonder whether... I don't know if it's the pressure of the Champions League, the expectations, the fact that the favourites going in. I, I think it's a difficult one, but I was expecting this Arsenal side to... to comfortably beat Bayern Munich tonight, particularly when you looked at that back four. Mm. But they never, ever looked comfortable. Yeah, and Bayern came out the better of the two sides. <coughs> oh. well, they, well, they did, and, and it's not that big a surprise, you know, with the experience they have, with the names on the jersey. It, it is a surprise, isn't well, it? Well, it's not, because, because... they've been so no, poor. No, but like, the, when was the last time you looked at a Bayern game? God, that really, really impressed you. So is it a case that they just knew the league, the league was done? No, you've got a bunch of experienced professionals who, at their best... Are all, <laughs> I mean, Harry, Harry Kane's world class. Sani on his game is world class. I mean, Nabry's been fantastic for what five, six years. I mean, but they but haven't not been this season, season though, have they? I, I know. Not this year, like, not Sixteen been. points are final ever. <coughs> they lose in the German Cup against the Italian. I know. In the third okay, they've put a good game together. What do you want? I mean, let's be honest. They haven't put two good games to back to back together all season. Yeah, but one... So why, after one good performance? <laughs> Against Arsenal, are we going to think anything other than they're going to bottle it no, but when you, they get home? You, you started going, well, this isn't a surprise when you look at the quality that's on the it's pitch, not but we haven't seen the quality. It's this not is, a surprise. This is that a surprise. No, it's not a surprise they started the game. You said they started the game well. Yeah. Is that a real surprise? No, but this result is a surprise. Considering the experience this, this, they've this, got. This result is a surprise, oh. surely. The performance is it's a surprise. A good perform it's a great performance. It's a great performance Which we haven't Bayern. seen all season. Exactly. So that's why it's a surprise. So because they stick one good performance <laughs> together, we're going to start talking about the next leg. Oh, <laughs> Arsenal, oh my goodness. Arsenal's absolutely still favourites going into this game. Wow. Absolutely Arsenal are favourites. OK. Bayern have bottled it all season. You know, every time they put themselves in a position where we're talking about I'll tell you what, they've done this, they've done that. So what do they do against Leverkusen? Wait, I, don't think, we, I don't think we've ever said that this season. No, I'm just saying they're terrible all any season. Any time, any time they've, they've, they've gone into a game where it's like, OK, we're going to see the real Bayern. Leverkusen, battered. Dortmund, yeah. at home, battered. So, yes, they did well tonight yes. and they started well. Right. Big deal, they started well. No. <laughs> considering, what, considering the team they've got... <laughs> it, it shouldn't be that big a surprise. Come on, the experience that they've got. I think good, it is. For goodness sake. The exp in fact, they've got yeah. more experience in their team in Champions League than Arsenal do. Um, so I'm going to tell you predicted a 2 win to Arsenal. It's not... A, right? Right. Well, there was, they're not a man on the planet that, that thought Bayern were going to win this game. Derek Ray. <laughs> oh, he doesn't count. <laughs> He's German, isn't he? Uh, <laughs> uh, no. Uh, Listen, uh, I... Bayern did great tonight, right? But I ain't putting a penny of my money on Bayern knocking Arsenal out in the second leg, even when they're at home. But I think because even at, when they're at home, that's when they disappoint even more than <laughs> than usual. So I ain't for them for this one one game one that we've right. done all right. I all just, right. I just look, it can happen. But I just felt, <laughs> I just felt Arsenal at home, bearing in mind their form, and with, particularly at home when they just suffocate teams, they don't even let them out their half half the time. Uh, their pressing game, is, for the most part, has been brilliant. I just felt, yeah, they might not get the goals or they might make a mistake at the back, but they're going to throttle the life out of this Bayern side. They're going to pepper this goal. It wasn't the case. It wasn't the case. Yeah, they dominated possession. You'd expect that. But, again, they look vulnerable at the back, which they haven't done many times this year. And I honestly felt Arsenal would be taking a much healthier result to Munich in, in, 
in terms of what they are. And I think for them, that's a big concern, particularly when you look at the way they've performed in the Champions League away from home in Porto, where they didn't play particularly well at all. Yeah, to that point, Robbo, why do we see a different Arsenal in the Champions League than we do in the league? Uh, maybe lack of confidence. You know, they haven't done it in the Champions League for quite some while. Uh, that, those poor performances against Porto for different reasons. The one in Porto, they just didn't get going in terms of their football ability. They didn't pass it particularly well. They didn't play at high enough tempo. The game at home, they looked fragile defensively and they looked fragile defensively tonight. And Bayern's best chance was at times on the counter-attack, particularly with Sane and Gnabry and Musiala playing in the hole. Today, Arsenal, when they did press the ball, were played around a little bit too easily. And then when they get played around too easily, the defenders don't make such good decisions. So that's going to have to change for the second leg. But uh, Arsenal weren't at their best tonight and it was a good performance by Bayern. But when they play well, it quite often comes to their counter-attacking at pace through the wide players. Sani coming in field off the wide areas. Gnabry or Coman, it'll probably be in the, in the return game, coming off the wide areas. Harry Kane coming shorter to link up the play. And Musiala showing that bit of skill around the box. Unless those four players play at their very best, Arsenal will still uh, go into the game as favourites. How concerned would you be if you're Miguel Arteta to, to see this drop in performance in, in these big Champions League games, Jürgen? Well, I can only say you're all only as good as your next game. And uh, I'm not surprised that Bayern Munich stepped it up after all the bad games they had recently because they have still so much quality. They have so good, so many good, good players there. And uh, um, these one-off games or knockout games in the Champions League phase at their very, very end, you know, the, the players looking at each other, they look, you look at the other side. If you're an Arsenal player, you look at the other side, you see Harry Kane, you see Manuel Neuer, you see... You know, all these players, you know, you have a lot, a lot of respect. And I, I think it has a lot to do with then confidence. Because uh, even if you have a good run in your, in your domestic championship in the Premier League now for us, it doesn't mean that easily you will transfer that kind of a form over to the Champions League games when you play a Real Madrid or, or Bayern Munich or, or Paris Saint-Germain. You, know, you have to prove it always in the next game. And I think um, you know, talking about who's favorite there in the, next, uh, in, in the second leg, I mean, if you get a 2-2 tie away from home and you go home now to the Alanza Arena in front of your 70,000 Bayern Munich fans, then you're the favourite. And I think Bayern Munich is the favourite to go through there with, with the quality of players they have. And forget about what happens in the Bundesliga. They won now the Bundesliga 11 times in a row. <laughs> Maybe they're a little bit tired of that. You know, they need a little break there of the Bundesliga. Uh, but <laughs> Thomas Tuchel came on at, uh, at Chelsea. They came on at Chelsea and took over for Frank Lampard and took them to the Champions League title. And why not this time? You know, it's the final eight now and uh, anything can happen. But uh, if I was, you know, manager of Arsenal, I would be very concerned about, at least about the Champions League situation now, going into Munich and uh, going against a very, very experienced uh, Bayern Munich side that is probably now even hungrier than, than ever because of, of the, the very negative Bundesliga season so far. I, well, I'll tell you yeah. what, some of these people take money, they might sit there with a scarf around their neck. Yeah, not Robbo, he's banned from Arsenal oh, still, yeah. isn't he, former player? I mean, <laughs> no, nobody, in there, nobody who understands the game in their right mind could think that was a penalty kick. Right. Emmanuel Neuer did absolutely nothing oh, wrong. Oh. I mean, nothing. Um, OK, let's take a look at the uh, second leg then. Percentages. Stevie, this is... I'm going to start... Percentages. Let's start with you, because we know, obviously, you think that it's going to be Arsenal. 55-45. 55-45. Yes. Arsenal the favourites to go through to the semi-finals. Yeah, I think so, yeah. I, 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 I understand everything that everybody's saying about Arsenal in the Champions League, uh, but I still think they're the better side. Right. And because Bayern have been so inconsistent and have been... Just when you expect them to maybe do something, they have absolutely... 55 45 is quite so, close, considering the way you've been talking. No, no, no. Oh, the, oh, well, the way you filter, the way I've been talking, it's, that's your filter. But you, you said this now. No, no. I said they're favourites. <laughs> yep. And with 55 45, yes. that makes them favourites. Uh, 